A very good morning to you. Welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones, live from Calkine TV Sydney Studios. The Australian share market is likely to start the morning on a muted note. That's tracking weakness on Wall Street amid uncertainty ahead of the release of July's U.S. consumer price data. Now, this upcoming inflation data would give clues about any further aggressive interest rate hikes by the U.S. Federal Reserve. The latest ASX futures indicate that the ASX 200 would open 40 points or 0.6 percent lower. Yesterday, the benchmark index ASX 200 closed 0.1 percent higher at 7,029 points. Now, in some big news from this morning now, and the Commonwealth Bank has reported their statutory net profit after tax was $9.67 billion, up 9%, and an 11% jump in full-year cash profit to $9.59 billion. Now, this is in part to strong home lending and lower bad debts as interest rates rise. Operating expenses were $11.19 billion, down 1.5%, driven by lower remediation costs and productivity benefits, partly offset by higher staff costs. CEO Matt Common says Australian households and businesses are in a strong position given low unemployment, low underemployment and strong non-mining investment. As a result, a final dividend of $2.10 per share fully franked has been determined, with shareholders receiving full-year franked dividends of $3.85. Now, Grain Corp today upgraded its earnings guidance for the 12 months, ending the 30th of September 2022, with underlying EBITDA raised to $680 to $730 million, where it was previously $590 to $670 million, and full year 2022 underlying MPAT to $365 to $400 million. And that was previously $310 to $370 million. Grain Corp's financial year 2022 earnings guidance is subject to several market variables, including the timing of grain exports, new crop sales, and also those weather conditions. Managing Director and CEO Robert Spurway says they're pleased to upgrade their earnings guidance with both agribusiness and processing businesses on track to deliver record financial results. And finally, Australian real estate investment trust Dexus reports a record net profit of $169.4 million. That's up $50 million.2 dollars or 42.1 percent on the prior year. Funds from operations at the top of the guidance range, driven by contributions from acquisitions. Now, these include the 33.3% stake in Jandicott Airport Industrial Precinct, which has 53 assets with an average age of six years and 80 hectares of development land. The company confirmed a distribution of 17.3 cents per security. Now, Alliance Aviation, Centuria Capital, Computer Share and Recon are all scheduled to release their results today. We'll bring you these results as soon as we get them. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast Report. Now taking a look to the global markets. On Wall Street, the S&P 500 dropped 0.4%. The Dow Jones dipped 0.2% and the Nasdaq ended 1% lower. Over in Europe, the stocks 50 fell 1.1%. The FTSE was up 0.1% and the CAC dropped 0.5% with the DAX ending 1.1% lower. The MSCI World Equity Index fell 0.1%. Now earlier, the MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside of Japan was flat while Japan's Nikkei slipped 0.95%. Oil prices finished lower yesterday, and that's on report that some oil exports have been suspended on the Russia to Europe Drasbar pipeline that transits Ukraine. During yesterday's trading session, both Brent and WTI crude rose and fell by over $1 per barrel. Brent crude closed at $96.31 a barrel. That was down 0.4%. WTI crude finished at $90.50 a barrel, down 0.3%. Gold prices rose yesterday, and that's after traders bought gold as the U.S. dollar softened. Gold was up 0.4% to $1,794 an ounce. 
That's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.